Well, hello everyone. Um, my name is uh, actually name uh, No Gas from the WonderLodgeOwnersGroup.com and a forum, and I'm sitting here with uh, Mr. Andre, and that's his username on the on the forum, and he has a really cosmic system that uh, I have been totally impressed with, and if I was to do a new system, I would probably follow his lead because it's uh, so spectacular. Uh, we're sitting next to his Bluebird Wonder Lodge uh, 2004 M380, and he has the same model that I have. It's a two-slide version. Uh, first of all, Andre, did you um, design the system? Uh, how, how did that come about? Yeah, first of all, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is that my native language is French, so uh, excuse me if my English is not uh, very, very good. So, uh, oh, and I think you're wrong. Your English is wonderful, <laughs> way better than my French or Spanish, even. I'll do <laughs> my best. So, what I wanted, um, like a lot of people, I wanted to have a, an all electric uh, coach. So, I first uh, removed uh, all the um, propane in my coach, and then uh, I knew about a company uh, named Victron Energy. Uh, that they do uh, very good things so uh, I wanted to go with them and I started to think about how to um, to do it but since I'm not uh, I'm not an electrician and I did not have uh, confidence to make all those things I worked with a company in Canada uh, which is Volts and uh, they do uh, conversion, they do uh, a lot of uh, solar system. So I went with them and we designed together what I wanted. And they have to do uh, quite a lot of work to, uh, in order to, uh, to do this. Okay. Um, so the company is actually a Volt, yeah. V-O-L-T-S. Uh, S. And dot, dot, it, ca. dot ca you can find that company online and and they have uh, their their website is in French uh, uh, but think, they do have an English uh, uh, a button on the on the yeah, right hand side yes, that you click yes. on and then it changes everything to English so uh, they, they they work they, I'm sure they do lots of work for the for the states and uh, uh, it looks like they're very 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 professional uh, professional job so you may be interested in uh, getting in touch with them um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to let Andre talk about each one of the boxes that you're seeing in the video here. And oh, by the way, neither one of us wanted to be on camera. Sorry about that, but uh, uh, I'm sure you'll understand the reasons for that. So uh, go ahead and scoot up a little bit, Andre, and we're, we're just going to, I'm going to focus on each box and then you can tell me what each one does. Um, this is the solar a is, smart solar charge controller and uh, take it away. Yeah, this is the solar charger uh, controller and uh, it, uh, it manage like it says uh, all the, the solar panel and which is good. Uh, this solar panel um, I can remotely manage it with uh, my phone. They have an app uh, that tells all the history of the of the solar panel and it's very useful and we'll cover some of that uh, maybe I'll put some links to uh, some of the screenshots that Andre is uh, going to send me uh, so you can check that out that's pretty awesome as well the next door is the Lynx power in 1000 so I don't know what that does this, but... is, this is for all the DC uh, all the DC uh, that goes to the, uh, the motorhome pass with the uh, this uh, Lynx power so it runs all the DC from there, and uh, that's where they have the positive and the negative for uh, the 12 volt DC. Okay. And the box above it, I recognize that. That's a thermostat for a 12 volt heater that's in the bay. Um, this is mounted uh, on the curbside bay uh, of the uh, water tank, and that originally is designed to keep the water tank from freezing, and he just made the thermostat more accessible on the outside, which is very convenient. And then I might mention also, that you'll see immediately below here, uh, uh, the uh, either Volts or, or Andre designed it, there's a very cool uh, conduit that kind of conceals and protects uh, the big parts of the wiring, the high voltage stuff, yes. of, of course. Yeah. And uh, it just makes it look for a very, very clean installation. Um, down below, what do we got here? Up here, 
Uh, they got the, um, of course, th those are breaker for the uh, solar. Uh -huh. uh, the in for the solar. The in, and, oh, okay. and, and, th and those are, are the, the breaker for the grid, AC. Uh, yeah, for the 120 volt AC yeah, coming in. Coming okay. in and, um, and then back down here, down at the bottom. And there, uh, at the bottom, it's something to control either if I use the inverter, if I don't use it, or if I only use the charger. Um, 99% of the time uh, of the time I leave it on the inverter uh -huh. and you can see that there's a knob there that I can adjust th th this is very useful since when I'm hooked up to a let's say a 50 amp grid I just set up be just a little bit below so I'm sure that I, I won't um, the breaker at the facility won't uh, trip okay and if I, I'm at 30 amp I will just put it at 30 then the excess if I need more current uh -huh. it would be supplied by my battery oh so it has a hybrid capability yeah. it can use both uh, yes. your batteries yeah. maybe to supplement yes. uh, the the uh, say you're hooked up uh, your uh, um, friend docking or whatever driveway docking uh, where you've got a real thin line maybe 15 amps you can use this to supplement that and it will never use more than what it's what is on this what is what is programmed yeah for. okay yeah. very good so it's a it's the, the, the inverter which we'll get to in a second is actually a hybrid inverter so it can use one or the other or both at the same time yes yes okay all right so this box down here the, the and th this box this one is um i have to check because i'm always confused between the two let me see um okay the one uh at the top uh, okay. is this one okay okay is to uh it's a kind of breaker is that if the battery goes below uh, a, a set point voltage let's say uh, 12 volt uh -huh. okay um, it will it's a low battery cut, cut the, the low voltage battery yeah. cutoff yeah uh, that's right uh, LVBCO is what we call it in uh, you know abbreviation but basically it, uh, yes it is it's, it keeps it from damaging yeah. the batteries and, and this one since I don't know if you know that lithium battery uh, don't like to be charged below zero right okay and this one this is a temperature monitoring okay uh, so if it goes below zero it won't try to charge it, it would try it won't try to charge it okay and so, and, and, and and that brings up a, a question that I had is have you done anything for heat like there is there any active cooling of the batteries or uh, I know you live in Canada so you're not yeah too I, concerned with no, extremes. I'm not too, uh, I did not do yet uh, something for uh, for eight uh, I said to myself if I need it I monitor the temperature but uh, I didn't have to uh, to monitor uh, to uh, have something for the heat and one of the good thing is that the water tank is there right and the water uh, sort of um, equalize the temperature right right and right. it's very good for that it's like a heat sink and it takes, yes it, yeah, it stabilizes it, it stabilizes it right, um, right. and of course um, I had to use though the uh, the heater uh, when it's below uh, zero of course uh, of course and it works very good does it get zero up there where you are you from yes <laughs> yes <laughs> once or yes. twice a year huh? yeah Qu <laughs> quite a few times <laughs> Okay, uh, so those are regular breaker. This one is for the inverter DC. Uh -huh. This one is for the load DC. And that's uh, 150 amp on the bottom, and it looks like uh, uh, I, I, I don't, don't remember exactly. Oh, it's covered. It's covered up here, but that's okay. We get we get the idea. How about the uh, the the uh, blue light next door? This one right here. Uh, this is the the BMS, the battery uh, oh, okay. management system, that is. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, and it had, and and I take it the one or the other the two wires they yeah they, they go they go inside uh, the, the, there's one going uh, inside to this, the to the control one, to the control panel yeah, upstairs yeah. okay they have an RG uh, 
And then this, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with lithiums, yeah. but lithiums have a, a BMS or battery management system yeah. controller that actually controls each one of the individual cells and gives you temperature and, and uh, how it's, it's doing the, the voltage. And uh, you can actually track a, a, a bad cell that way, yeah. uh, but it keeps everything balanced also. And yes. that's very, very important with, uh, exactly. with, with lithiums. Okay. Uh